the last section of 7.3, we're going to look at what happens when factoring doesn't work, uh, when you're trying to algebraically solve quadratic equations, and we'll get into something now called the quadratic formula. So the first example, it says apply the, the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. So missiles fired from ground level as modeled by the quadratic function. And we see that here, where HT represents height in meters and T is time in seconds. So write the, qu write the quadratic equation could be used to determine the times where the missile attains a height of 80 meters. But now that we know the height, so we will put the height in for 80. And we use a quadratic function that's given to us. Now, so we just substitute in height and what we're asked to find now. At what times does the rocket reach a height of 80 meters? So uh, visual representation of that, 80 meters is here. So it would reach that at this time here, just before one second. And if we continue across, as the rocket comes back down, somewhere between five and six seconds. Then we're asked to express the quadratic equation from A in standard form. So all that wants us to do is just bring the 80 over. So we have negative 20 t squared plus 120t, we bring the 80 over, it becomes negative 80 equals 0. And can we solve it by factoring? Well, the first step we could try is dividing everything here by common denominator, and that will be negative 20, or dividing by common factor. Now dividing each term by negative 20 in our quadratic equation, we have a simplified form. So t squared subtract 6t, 6t, ignore that, that was a mistake, plus 4. And the question asks, can we solve this by factoring? So are there two factors of 4 that can add to give us negative 6? Factors of 4 are 2 and 2, 4 and 1, and no matter which way you add or subtract these numbers, you would never ever be able to get a negative 6, so this question cannot be factored. So we need another method of solving it. And that method we're going to use now is a quadratic formula. The equations have to be in standard form, so you have to pick out your a, b, and c values. And your formula is here. And we'll follow negative b plus or minus square root of b squared subtract 4ac all divided by 2a and that seems like a mouthful but really it's not that bad to use and I'll uh, start it below. So from the equation above the a value is 1, b value is negative 6 and c value is 4 and remember folks we don't include the variable with the a, b and c it's just the values. So x equals negative b so negative sign is already there in the equation. Your b value is negative 6. Plus or minus. And negative 6 squared. Subtract 4 times a times c. And I usually put in the square root sign at the end. All divide by 2a. Let's simplify. Negative and negative 6 is 6, plus or minus 36, subtract 4 times 1 times 4, 16, divide by 2, 6 plus or minus 20, divide by 2, now this is going to be calculator work, and we'll end up with two answers. First answer is going to involve 6 plus 
square root 20, divide by 2, and the second answer, and that's what the plus or minus means here, is that you will end up with two answers here, and uh, plug that into the calculator. Now the two answers, 5.24 seconds, and zero decimal, 76 seconds. We look back up to our graph and see if these make sense. And we had expected to have a number just before one second and between five and six. And our two values do make sense.